Hey guys, uh, welcome to your singles love reading for Taurus. Uh, this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for August 2022. So we're going to take a look at your over energies uh, regarding love, uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect uh, for August. And then we will take a look to see what your current blockages and challenges are in finding love. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know. And if there's anyone new coming towards you, uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other uh, placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, what else? Uh, give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, what else? Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Taurus people. So uh, I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, um, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? Uh, so Taurus, let's get started. Over energies for single Taurus. What is surrounding single Taurus for August 2022? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Tauruses. Over energies for single Taurus regarding love for August 2022. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles here. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. And the King of Pentacles. Taurus, there you are right here. Taurus, it, it seems like you guys are really focused, focused on your careers right now. And I feel like your fortune is changing here. Uh, you know, it could be that, you, you know, your hard work is really paying off here. Okay, uh, I, I'm not feeling like there's any sort of love thing in the on the radar here, but we're gonna pull more cards and see. Uh, two of Cups, okay, and the Six of Swords. Seems like you're trying to move on from a relationship here, uh, uh, Taurus. Okay, and just really focused on your career. Some of you guys might be physically moving to a new home. Let's see what else we have. Ace of Pentacles here. Could be moving or could be moving for a job. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Ace of Cups. Okay. It seems like you're finally letting go of an old situation here. Okay. And I feel like you're just focusing on the new. Alright. Uh, let's see what else we have. Three of Pentacles. Six of Wands, you know, I just feel like you're focusing on your success here regarding your career, regarding your money here. It seems like there is maybe new love in the picture here. Uh, not so that you've met this person yet, but it could be a situation that, you know, this person is uh, in your orbit and will come towards you when you're ready. Um, it, it, it seems like a universe is 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 going to be sending you someone here uh the the wheel hermit virgo energy the king of pentacles and the four of cups here you know i feel like you've been waiting for this and i feel like you don't have to wait any longer i i, I feel like what's coming towards you is it, 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 going to make you really 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 happy Okay, because I feel like you've been waiting for this. And I feel like you worked really hard to let something go where you've also learned like a lesson here, okay? Or that you've changed or that you've grown or that you've evolved a lot, all right? Uh, let's see what else we have. Two of Cups, the Five of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Strength card, Leo Energy. So there is a relationship that you felt disappointed that it didn't work out. Um, but it seems like you're sort of like regaining your strength here. 
okay? Uh, or that you're coming or stepping into your power. I don't know, I feel like someone, you're letting go of the past, but someone from your past might be rushing back in here, uh, 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 Taurus. Um, tell me about the challenges and blockages that single Taurus is currently facing in finding love. For August 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles and a Seven of Cups. Two of Wands and the Magician. Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords here. Six of Pentacles and a Seven of Cups. Two of Wands and the Magician here. Gemini Virgo. And the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords here. You know, I feel like this is something that you're overcoming here. It's like you're making a decision, you're letting go of those illusions in a prior situation. And I feel like you're making a decision to sort of like cut all this out. You know, it could be that you felt like you were wasting your time in thinking about this or ruminating about this. And I feel like you're just, you know, focusing more on your attention on new things here. Okay. Uh, you know, I do feel like you're manifesting here. I do feel like there's an energy where you're feeling like you're not getting anywhere uh, or that you're feeling like you're feeling like there's no progress but there is progress here you are getting somewhere okay the universe is watching with the kings and queen of pentacles it seems like the universe is sending you your soulmate here we have a higher fit, Taurus energy. This is someone here who's thinking very long term like you are, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Taurus energy with that higher fit, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Queen of, no, the Two of Wands in the world, the Magician and the Ten of Swords here. Wow. It seems like you worked really hard on closing out a cycle here, a painful cycle. And I feel like you are closing this out. Like I said, the universe is watching and the universe is sending you someone that you truly deserve. I feel like this has been a very long pro process here. Uh, the uh, Three of Swords, Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Ace of Swords, and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, it seems like it, there's an energy of definitely overcoming, overcoming this Three of Swords energy. And I feel like you're on a clear path or that you know what you want now or that you know what you're looking for. All right? Uh, look at that. This, this was on the bottom of the deck. It's showing up again. So I don't, it, it seems like your past is not letting you go though, uh, Taurus, okay? Um, it, it seems like there's someone new coming towards you, but we're going to see what else you guys need to know. What else does the single Taurus people need to know? Is there anyone new coming towards single Taurus's way? Sun, Moon, Rising, Green signs for August 2022. All right, five of wands in a page of pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the King of Swords and the Tower here. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Energy with the Tower. And then we have the Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. You know, Taurus, I feel like you're going through a lot of changes here. So a lot of you guys are right now facing, I feel like you guys are facing your childhood traumas here too. Okay? So, you know, I feel like you're finally realizing that your pain, your trauma is what you're putting out to the world, what you're reflecting right back at you, okay? Uh, which is, you know, someone that has similar experiences to you and they're reflecting it right back at you where you're needing to do the work to heal from this so that, you know, 
this doesn't happen again. Uh, five of Wands and a Page of Pentacles here. King of Swords and the Tower. Page of Swords and a Nine of Wands. Seems like, you know, I, I do feel like there's some sort of internal conflict that's coming up to the surface that you're trying to deal with here, uh, uh, Taurus. Uh, it has something to do with your childhood. The uh, Five of Wands. The Moon. Yeah. I feel like there is fear about touching this. Because I feel like you're scared of what's going to come up. But that energy needs to be moved. It does, if it doesn't get moved, it just kind of stays stagnant. And you'll have the same experience again. But I do feel like a lot of you guys are doing a lot of hard work. A lot of self-work. This is a good sign. Uh, Cancer Pisces energy with the moon. Uh, Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles here. Yeah, there's something that you're not letting out. There's something that you're not sharing. There's something that you're not moving that's still lodged in your physiology. And it, it's a deep-rooted trauma, too, from your childhood. Tell me about the King of Swords, the Lovers, the Tower, and the Fool. So Gemini energy and a full Aries energy right here. It could be a thing where you're not really looking, but new love is going to come to you very unexpectedly. Yeah, that sort of thing. It, 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 this, this might surprise you because I feel like you've been through so much that, you know, you, don't, you didn't think that you would find anyone. I do feel like you're going to find your person here. Page of Swords, Seven of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Wands here. We have the King to Queen of Wands and the Seven of, uh, and, uh, and the uh, King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. We have, a, we have some true pairs here. The uh, Queen of Wands and the Seven of Wands. I feel like the person that you're going to meet is going to have very similar story to you. Your upbringing, you know, your background, that sort of thing. And I feel like you guys are going to really con going to connect on that and really work on, you know, growing together, healing together, e evolving together. There's going to be a lot of shedding together, I feel. This is going to be a very healthy relationship for you, uh, Taurus, okay? So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.